Welcome to Example Instruments 10 Master Reverb. This example demonstrates how to apply a reverb to the tone engine, the, to the internal tone engine. And um, this is actually very straightforward. So um, I've prepared a little bit of boilerplate code once again. So here you can actually, um, again, just play a random note like this and as you can hear it's a very dry immediate sound seems very very clear very artificial also um, and because sometimes it is just nice to have a little bit of a kind of a, uh, a yeah, natural feel or some sense of space um, I've implemented this reverb which, um, by the way, is also available as a, as, a, as a DSP module. You can use this also when you create your own instruments or when you um, do other DSP stuff. Um, you can also use this as, a, as an independent module. But, um, but I thought that reverb is so nice and even especially also if you use it in a subtle way, um, it can really give like an, like an, like an extra quality to, to the, um, the sound. Um, the overall sound. Um, I thought it's 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 one of the few effects that I thought are worth implementing into the into this complete tool chain, um, not tool chain, pro signal chain of of the tone engine, the internal tone engine. Okay, obviously this is only available in the internal uh, tone engine, so not in MIDI or C or anything, uh, and also. Um, which also means that you need to make sure that you're actually using the internal tone engine, not any other ones. So um, the way to turn on the master reverb is, is uh, rather simple. You can um, you just need this one function call. You need this get internal tone engine, and um, and then you just need to enable the reverb by calling enable reverb true, and you can also turn it back off again if you want to. Um, that's that's absolutely um, it's no problem to do this at runtime so um, this will actually turn on the the reverb already so let's have a listen so you can hear it's got a distinct kind of reverberation to it now um, and as most reverb algorithms this one also has a few parameters I'm not gonna go through too many of those because on the one hand they're rather self-explanatory and on the other hand um, um, yeah, I think they're just very self-explanatory period I think that's it um, and they're best understood by by playing around with them so um, but may maybe let, let me just demonstrate one um, mainly also in in order to show how it's actually done, you again need to um, get the reverb object by using this monster of a function call, of a, of a chain of function calls, uh, and then you can, um, for example, set the room size. Um, and again, like I think that's I don't even have to talk about this. So maybe let's send it to something, uh, set it to something like nine, which is quite a high value actually for the room size. So now. Sounds like a church, like like um, as if the tone was in, inside a church or another huge building. Again, these values can also be um, modified at runtime and um, and so on. Um, one word of warning: again, like if you you need to make sure that you are using the internal tone engine. If you don't, then this function call will crash your application. But um, but I think that's that's um, easily done, so um, it's nothing to worry about, really. Okay, this concludes this um, brief demonstration of the master reverb effect, and um, I hope you like it, and see you in the next one.